Hello everyone, my name is Anuj. I'm a medical student at Government Medical College, Nagpur. And today I'm going to be sharing the books which I used and which I recommend for you first year people out there so that you can make the best out of it. Okay, so basically we have three subjects in first year, anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. Talking about anatomy, we have got sub-subjects in anatomy such as gross anatomy, histology, embryology, general anatomy and radiology. Uh, physiology we have most important the physiology theoretic theoretically and practical physiology and biochem as it is we have a complete subject biochemistry it may be divided into theory and practical but uh, not much is needed there so speaking of books I recommend uh, several books but there are basically according to me three classes of books that uh, exist in any subject across uh, any of the universities so first is the gold standard book which is like the topmost book and every other book has references from that book and there is no such book greater than that book uh, so that is the gold standard book every subject has the second is the medium class books or the books we use for uh, for our exams and the last one is our the passing books commonly called good cars in medical colleges so so the three books I have here uh, speaking of the first subject anatomy so I have here uh, the entire set of the books which I used in first year uh, mostly okay so this is the first book which I ever touched even before I was into medical college before the admission this was, this is the atlas of anatomy this is Thymes atlas so what an atlas does is basically it has all these great diagrams and all the pictorial representation there is not much theory but uh, it the atlas has got every single uh, part of the body dissected and shown in uh, its how it is in the body so an atlas is must for anybody get a pdf of it or uh, get you know the atlas itself or you can issue it from the library there are two atlases which i would recommend this one is the times atlas and the other is the netters atlas which i have already recommended to many people so go for any of these it will not make much difference but the thing is you should and must always take a look at the atlas before you uh, dive into the topic you're going to be st studying in anatomy because uh, this gives you basically an outlook of what you're going to be studying how it looks the relations and uh, the supply everything okay so this is the first book that i would recommend this is the atlas of anatomy the next we have here the set of books this is the books written by dr bd chaurasia the red color books okay so these are this is basically the medium quality books that i was talking about we use this for our exams and the condensed form of bd chaurasia uh, it is available as a good car so many people use this just before exams so that they can get quick uh, review on the short notes and the laqs uh, really quickly so as you can see there are four volumes uh, so I, I have here the first volume this is the upper limb and thorax so this basically focuses on the supex and thorax next we have here the uh, lower limb abdomen and pelvis as the name suggests this is your uh, head neck face and this is neurology so basically what uh, the group of book BD Chaurasia does is that it basically gives you a uh, very point wise representation of what you have to write so I would highly suggest every one of you to buy this book known as BD Chaurasia this should be your primary book you go to uh, for you know writing exams in anatomy okay so for gross anatomy BD Chaurasia moving on uh, in the same line for gross anatomy we have the king of books of medical uh, life that is the Gray's anatomy here I have studied this book to a lot of extent and this is a very beautifully written book to for anybody who wants to you know uh, study a bit more than what is given in BDC I would highly recommend uh, Gray's Anatomy but strictly speaking it is not for everyone only if you want uh, something extraordinary to do in anatomy like you want to know it or you want really good grades just go for this book it will sort your life if you have this I don't think you should have BDC because that's just too much stuff to read <laughs> but if you got a lot of free time like me you can just take a look over both of this uh, another thing uh, uh, Gray's Anatomy it does not have a uh, neurology section but again neurology is a separate thing which I will describe later so uh, uh, as I was saying that uh, so gross anatomy it basically has two sets of books this is the Gray's Anatomy and the other is your uh, BD Chaurasia as is hum human anatomy so BDC and Gray's this is your primary bulk of gross anatomy you can see the volume of this book so be cautious before you buy it because it is quite expensive but the diagrams here are comparable uh, to that of your atlas so it gives you a really nice perspective into what is actually going on okay this book is really heavy also 
ओके स्पीकिंग ऑफ द अनदर सबसेट ऑफ योर एनाटमी वी हैव जनरल एनाटमी फॉर दिस वी यूज बी डी चोरिक्स इज हैंड बुक ऑफ जनरल एनाटमी जनरल एनाटमी इज बेसिकली द थिंग विच यू रीड बिफोर यू गेट इन टू योर ग्रॉस एनाटमी हिस्ट्रोलॉजी और एम्ब्रियोलॉजी इट जस्ट गिव्स यू अ ब्रीफ ओवर ओवर व्यू ऑफ वट्स गोन बी इन साइड लाइक वॉट आर नर्व वॉट आर बोन्स वॉट आर जॉइंट्स एंड वट इज द ब्लड सप्लाई टू द बोन सो दिस आर ऑल द डिफरेंट थिंग डिफरेंट थिंग्स दट यू आर गोन बी नोइंग इन दिस बुक दिस इज बी डी चोरस एज हैंड बुक ऑफ जनरल एनाटमी एवरी वन शुड गेट अ सेट ऑफ बी डी चोरस या आई थिंक इट विच इंक्लूड्स दिस स्मॉल बुक विच इट यूजली कम्स फ्री दिस इज द फोर्थ एडिशन एंड बी डी चोरस एस यू गन गेट इट ऑन एमेजॉन एट द लिंक सो दिस बुक यू गन रीड दिस बिफोर यू डाइव इन टू इट सो फॉर स्टडिंग एनाटमी गो टू द एटलेस दैन गो टू द जनरल एनाटमी दैन गो टू द ग्रॉस एनाटमी Okay the another subset of anatomy we have here is our histology so the thing which we go to for histology is this this book this is human histology by Indabir Singh Dr Indabir Singh so this is a very comprehensive book it has given a lot of micro details about uh, different cells and different tissues and also it is uh, it has a color atlas which is very important because uh, when you're going to be going to the practicals uh, the atlas is what you're going to be looking for before you enter the histology practical so atlas gives you a brief overview into what you're going to be seeing into the slide and the book itself is fabulous it has got a lot of diagrams a lot of explanatory stuff so for histology i'd highly recommend going for in the beer sings um human histology with color atlas and practical guide so this is the book which i recommend like uh, gray's anatomy for your gross anatomy histology also has its counterpart that is the diflo's atlas and uh, the practical manual that is diflo's atlas is the gold standard for uh, studying histology so if you want to go for the gold standard just uh, form a group of people and get yourself a diflo's atlas look at the diagrams and look at uh, whatever the theory has given it is like excellent and you're going to be scoring really good if you want to go for quiz that's what i'm going to recommend you so that that was human histology another sub subject we have of anatomy here is the thing called as embryology so this is an old edition uh, this is actually inderbir singh's human embryology just like i b singh's human histology so this is the book which we usually read uh, before going into the uh, exams so embryology is a very very ignored subject of anatomy people usually read it only for practicals and um practicals and theory but they don't they are genuinely not interested in embryology everybody goes for gross anatomy but you my friend don't do that read it because i have read it and it is a very beautiful subject if you understand embryology it's going to be helpful for pediatrics and gynecology in the future so this is human embryology this is the ninth edition i think there are like two more editions uh, which have come out and the size of the book has increased but the theory material almost remains the same because not much has been added to embryology since 4 uh, 5 years so yeah this is in the beer sings human embryology but just like the counterpart uh, we have the gold standard book of embryology here this is the developing human the gold standard book for embryology and it is written by dr keith l moor and if you're going to be going to the shop and asking keith moor they're going to be giving you this and this is a very clinically oriented book so if you're really into knowing what are the developmental anomalies and what are the different what are the different possible anomalies what are chromosomal aberrations and everything so each of them has been listed into great detail over here so i would highly recommend going for keith moore if you want to study embryology in detail that's what i did uh, in the beer things is for just writing and theory purposes but if you really want to know what goes on and how each cell migrates and in evolution okay so that all is given in very detail in this book that is the developing human keith moore so this is the gold standard uh, not for everyone okay just let me clear gold standard books are not for everyone if you just want to pass and you know mediocre just go for the uh, books which i recommend don't go for the gold standards but if you really want to know something from the subject as you should just go for these books which i'm telling you so yeah uh, i guess that was almost all about anatomy the another thing which you're going to be needing for your practical classes such as dissection is this books known as cunningham or dissectors there are different dissectors out there but the most popular is cunningham you probably going to get this from the senior i donated one of my cunningham so a junior so this is the practical manual of uh, anatomy you're going to be dissecting a corpse based on this what this book told uh, tells you uh, to be very honest nobody really reads this book except when you are uh, like very bored in the dissection classes that's when you go for cunningham but this is a must before if you don't have this just 
don't enter the dissection hall because you don't know what the steps and you're gonna mess up the entire viscera or the thing which you're gonna di gonna be dissecting so this is Cunningham practical manual uh, manual of anatomy get this from a senior okay okay so like any other subject uh, this the, that all of all of those books that was all of the anatomy that you're gonna be needing uh, but additional to this if you want to be studying for like NEET or next exam which is gonna be uh, the entrance exam this is the book which I would recommend this is Arvind Arora so Arvind Arora it is basically a combination of book that is the basic subject uh, it has written this book actually has two subjects this is, uh, half part of it is anatomy and the other half is forensic medicine so just get this book and solve the first half or get a PDF of it and do your MCQs read the theory the thing about uh, th these these are known as review books so the thing about review books is it, they have an upper hand over textbook as uh, they give you the best of all the textbooks which have to offer so you don't have really have to go for every other book and if you're gonna be buying this for uh, you know uh, entrance exams it has a condensed information with uh, pathology and pharmacology and surgery and medicine so the clinical aspect is going to be really strong uh, Arvind Arora I would recommend every one of you should at least have a PDF of it or some of you who really want to uh, do nice MCQs based on this so the basic subject Arvind Arora solve anatomy it has got everything gross anatomy general embryo and histo Speaking of physiology, physiology is basically divided into two sections that is the first is theory and second is practical. Uh, both are equally important because physiology uh, not to be confused just like anatomy is divided into practical and theory classes. Uh, I think personally the practical classes have more importance because physiology forms the basis of medicine and pathology also. So this is the book which I read this is Guyton and Hall and this is kind of like the medium or medium high book which most of the students uh, do prefer and the gold standard book uh, in this physiology section is Ganong so I would personally recommend for those who of you who are really interested to know how the body works and the physiological systems go for Ganong but if you are going for Guyton I must uh, warn you that if you are reading it you might, might find certain problems that you are not able to form your answers correctly because what happens is in physiology is that you read this book uh, you understand it <laughs> then you forget it so there are alternatives to that that is your AKJ and your uh, Chatterjee so if you are gonna go for physiology I would recommend Guyton because the concepts are very nicely explained such they are explained so nicely that you <laughs> understand them and instantly forget them also but if you want a more tabulated and or pointed uh, in a bulletin format go for AK Jain or you know uh, Sembulingam also but Sembulingam is a book uh, which most of you people are gonna be uh, referring to if you are not really interested in Guyton but uh, don't do that by Guyton study it be determined okay so this was the theory book which I recommend for physiology, Guyton and Hall. Okay, next, as important as it may seem, another preference is given. That is the practical physiology. Okay, so practical physiology is just as important as the theory, theoretical aspect of physiology, that, like I explained. So first of all, I would like to tell you that in your practical classes, just read the manuals, and that's going to be very sufficient for you. But if you really want to have an upper edge, like suppose. Uh, you want to form your strong basis for medicine this is the book you go to this is practical physiology by GK Pal it has got a lot of different different graphs and uh, things which are not given in your book uh, the practical manual which we get from our universities but uh, first of all just do your practical manual and then get this book so this is gonna form your really strong uh, practical basis let me give you an example in, if in your practical manual you are doing the experiment of pulse uh, what is gonna be happening is that only one or two abnormalities will be given whereas in this you're going to be finding everything from an acrotic pulse to diacrotic pulse to pulses by fringes. so you know what I mean get this book your practical will be strong uh, which will also make your medicine strong coming over to the last subject we have here biochemistry so biochemistry uh, personally it is it has been my favorite subject for the first year because it is so much fun to read and easy to understand in comparison to anatomy the book which I referred to the most was Harper's Illustrated Biochemistry 31st edition this is the gold standard book for biochemistry just like other foreign authors such as Lippincott so if you are really really interested in biochemistry like me just go for Harper but it is just like all the gold standard books like not for everybody and you are not really gonna be able to write you know point wise tabulated answers if you're reading this but you really understand the concept very nicely if you're reading biochemistry nicely it will form your basis for pharm pharmacology and pathology also in some ways 
so this is harper's 31st edition of illustrated biochemistry okay so i recommend everybody to use this apart from this uh, there is also another book which has almost the same standard as harper that is vasudevan vasudevan is very nicely written and very beautifully organized so if you are not going for harper at least go for vasudevan so that that is what i would like to tell you about biochemistry another shout out that i would like to tell is that uh, our own teachers from uh, gmc nagpur they have written a book known as uh, case oriented approach in biochemistry so the two teachers which are one of my favorite teacher of the college so the, dr rajesh jambulkar and dr abhijit nigot they have their own book out there so there is the link you can buy that that is basically going to give you a very nice informative insight on the different clinical cases which are going to be encountering in uh, biochemistry so i really really want you to go for that and okay so that was you know theory part of biochemistry i have like a lot of different books for biochemistry so as i told you biochemistry the standard book was harper but uh, the mediocre book or the low standard book this, this is the satyanarayan um the people who don't really want to study biochemistry or <laughs> don't really want to study much of it uh, i would recommend you go for satyanarayan it's an easy book not much information but uh, you can easily pass your exams with this book so and it may look bulky but it is actually very less dense so i can easily hold whereas if i had grace i would not be able to hold it with one hand just like i told you about uh, anatomy i forgot about physiology so th this is the uh, mcq book which i would recommend for uh, biochemistry this is your rebecca james uh, just make it your go to book because it is so well organized it has contents from different places from harper lippincott satyanarayan and vasudevan so just go for rebecca james it's a very nice condensed book it has got a lot of mcqs if you do this your biochemistry will be like out of the rank totally awesome so this is rebecca james your uh, go to book for bio biochemistry uh, review book for physiology is this this is your krishna kumar for physiology it's a very nice book but uh, only if you have read your gaitan very nicely you will be able to understand what this book has to say because the, it is like one of those books which combines more information than uh, that should be given in first year it has pharmacology it has pathology so if you have done your gaitan and practical physiology very well just buy this book solve it by the end of your your year most probably buy this like two two months out of the year and your physiology will be awesome so yeah that was all the books that i would like to tell you about and if you are new to this channel welcome to the channel and uh, i post videos here about things my, which you might find tedious mostly they are about first year right now maybe more <laughs> okay so yeah thank you